Energy runs the world, and the ability to produce energy in large quantities gives a nation economical advantage towards substantial economical and technological growth. The availability of energy has transformed the course of humanity over the last few years and the last few centuries as well. Um, so um, that has raised um, new sources of energy to be found out since the um, fossil fuel, non, the, that's non renewable fossil fuel energy sources that were developed or they were found out in the last over the last couple of centuries ago. So um, now we have other sources such as nuclear, hydro, and other renewable uh, technology technologies and so um and energy sources like the solar the wind and and, and the rest so and as the rate at which energy is being produced has greatly increased over the centuries so also uh the rate at which energy is consumed has greatly increased and then in this report we'll be looking at our uh, energy consumption and production across the world from 1900 to about 2020 across various continents and the century and uh, countries of the world and this report was actually uh this data rather was given uh by quantum analytics scene which is part of uh, the project uh, and uh, that is being completed towards the training and internship uh, performed with them uh so we're able to look at based on the data provided we're able to check compare the energy per capita and the energy per gdp Per year across um per year across all the world, and we're able to see how the energy per capita has increased greatly, and the energy per GDP also increased greatly. We both substantially dropped from around 2007 has been reducing, and we can see that in the last three years, uh, last three years that's from 2017 to 2020, there were um great drops in energy uh, per capita and energy per GDP, which is which shows some. Um, changes towards um energy um different energy sources being used and then more um energy conservative methods are being produced um yearly these days now so not in much energy is being consumed as before uh, uh so as we can see in the previous years and then uh if we continue further we can also see the consumption analysis as well showing the evolution of energy consumption by four sources biofuel coal fossil fuel gas hydro low carbon nuclear oil renewable solar and wind from 1965 to 2020 showing how each of these energy sources has increased um has gained um um acceptance and has been in use and then we can see how they've been increasing gradually their adoption and then their consumption has been increasing over the years and then this shows the total average energy consumption for each of the energy sources and then we can see fossil fuel is still being the one that's still being consumed the most next by the um we have the oil consumption and next we have coal and then as well we can see the other ones as well and then we can easily use the filters as well to see how each of these energy consumption how each of these energies energy sources are consumed either per year or we check the region of the country as well and then going further we can also see the production analysis as well uh, for the data source for the data we were only given production for coal production gas production and on oil production and we can see how each of all this um, energy sources has been produced over the years and we can see that there is and uh, 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 the, the the source with the greatest increase uh, is still the oil production still being produced in last large and massive quantity. However, gas is gradually gaining um gradually gaining ground. But uh, at the beginning, we can easily see that coal was um uh just as much produced just as much as the other uh the other sources. But over the years, coal is being used less uh less more now. Sorry, coal is being used. Uh, less now while um gas and oil and oil are the uh, more produced and then more uh, used in uh for more of the energy needs around the world and then if we go further we can still see uh we're checking out the production versus consumption analysis by region and we can see how each region varies when you compare when it, when we compare the production and then the consumption and because we only have production for just three energy sources so we did the consumption and the production uh, comparison so we're able to compare the comparis uh the production and consumption for coal for gas and for oil and we can see how each region performs or how each region varies based on the production versus the consumption 
and we can also see the average consumption of energy sources um, across the region as well. So we can see how each of the region also shows uh, consumes other sources of energy as well. And uh, if we check further, we can see um, the we can see how the comparison of the production per capita, the electricity per capita, consumption per capita, and the population by country to see how each of these energy sources are, uh, are varies with the production or with the population of the region. And then we can just see the comparison we did for coal, for fossil fuel, gas, and hydro being the most used um, energy sources. So we compare just those four energy sources. And then the, we also compared, uh, we did an analysis on USA showing the GDP and population by year. And we can see as the GDP rose also, as the population rose, the GDP also rose for uh, USA over the years. Uh, the fossil consumption per capita and the fossil energy per capita was also shown. And we also compared the fossil consumption change and gas consumption change by year, showing how the consumption change for fossil energy and the consumption change for gas Consum uh, for gas energy was also compared to see how they vary. And then we also cons consider the fossil consumption change and the solar consumption change per year. And then with this um, analysis, uh, which we can still go further in depth, we'll be able to see how energy consumption varies across the world. And then we can see uh, which energy sources are being used more and more prevalently in these days. And then which energy sources are being um forgotten or being left behind and not not used uh, as much as often as before such as the coal um energy source um so thank you very much for joining me today uh feel free to drop your comments your likes and you can also interact with the dashboard uh, via the link provided thank you and have a nice day